Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, is rolling across the country in its first national tour. We're here in Minneapolis at the Orpheum Theater on opening night to talk with the cast about what it's like to tour America in the brightest bus the theater world has ever seen. Opening night of the national tour, how do you feel? Amazing. It was really fun tonight. Yeah. Incredible audience. We're in Minneapolis, which is an amazing theater community. I feel great. Every time I do the show, I just, I, I'm so high and I just, you know, have so much joy in my heart. And uh, I'm just truly in love with the show. So I'm really proud to bring it across America and share it. What a roar from the audience. I mean, I've never heard stadium roar like, like it was tonight. I mean, they just, uh, floored us. The audience reaction that we're getting here is just impeccable. Like, like applause when you enter, applause when you exit, applause when you speak. They just want to have a party, have a good time, and they feel good leaving the show, which is what we've always wanted. It feels like a rock concert sometimes, and I've never experienced anything like that, really. You spend most of the show up in the air. What does that feel like? It's a rush. <laughs> it's a rush. It's, um, it's a lot of fun, like, you know, you get in the air and you're like, all right, balancing and smile. <laughs> and hope I don't forget everything in the roar of the crowd. At first it was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I've flown before, so I was like, I got this, I got this. But then we went up, and we went up some more, and then we passed the lights, and I was like, whew. Breathe, girl. Remember your choreography. Just flying in that first when we come down at the very beginning that people cheer for us is like such a rush. It's so cool. What is the number one tip you've learned to being a drag queen? Oh, the glitter lips. I'm gonna have, yeah, I have to put it out there. The glitter lips with the liner, then a MAC red with the bliss text, and then just loose glitter on that lip. It makes you pop. I think the glitter lip is a real, it's something that I had never done before. Remember to floss the glitter out of your teeth. I mean, it really, I have to floss it out. It gets stuck in my teeth. Glitter, definitely. It always makes things shine. <laughs> so yeah, you put some glitter on and anybody can be a drag queen. People come to the show, they, they know the music's a lot of fun. It's a lot of disco music. Uh, there's such an energy from the moment the, uh, the divas start singing It's Raining Men. And then it just, it keeps building. It's just pure joy. Uh, the costumes are crazy. Tony Award-winning costumes. It's fun. It's visually stunning. It's all like songs you're gonna know. I describe it as uh, kind of watching Mardi Gras, on, you know, on a Broadway stage. I think what I love most about this show is just the the heart of it. You know, a lot of people will just see it and be like, oh, it's a drag show, but it, it means so much more. And I think beyond all of the fluff and the the costumes and and the amazing disco numbers you've got a real story that actually is very relevant in today's time. I think it's a great piece of theater that kind of gives you all the bang that you want from a Broadway show, all the spectacle, I mean a lot of spectacle, and all that stuff plus a really good story. What are you most excited about with taking this show across the country? Well, bringing the message to so many smaller uh, other communities, you know, and, uh, and, and giving kids and, and people opportunity to see an alternative way of life that is full of love and acceptance and joy and hilarious. My primary aim, I think, in being in theater, well, in life, is to bring joy. And this show makes it so easy for me to do that. 